You're not going to believe where pizza toast originated some 60 years ago. And this is a simple, simple way to enjoy pizza in just a few minutes any night of the week. Welcome to Lawyer in the Kitchen. Today we're going to make a fantastically simple, simple dish. Pizza toast with hot honey. You couldn't, these are all the ingredients right here. Very, very easy to make, very quick to make. Make it in the oven, put it in a pan, put it in a sheet pan, put it in a skillet. We're going to have about two tablespoons of passata, which is nothing more than fresh tomatoes with a little bit of oregano, a little bit of salt in it. We're gonna put that in the food processor. This is more than we need for two tablespoons. This is to make two pieces of toast. About a tablespoon of honey, about a teaspoon of uh, lemon juice, and about a quarter teaspoon of chili powders. We've got pepperoni, oregano, sliced red onions, olive oil, mozzarella cheese, and Parmesan cheese, and let's not forget, for a little bit of garnish, the parsley. First thing, put your oven on 350, and go ahead and mix the hot honey. So I'm just gonna use the same little dish here for that I have the honey already in, about a tablespoon, a teaspoon of honey, about a quarter teaspoon of chili flakes, and we're just gonna mix that up. And we'll be drizzling this on the top. And this will take a minute or two to get this thinned out. We wanna go ahead and let this sit up so that the chili flakes can infuse a little heat. And of course, the chili flakes will be on it and in it, so it's gonna, it'll have that flavor anyhow. All right, so meanwhile, I got some of it on the tray here. Yeah, you would think as simple as this is, I wouldn't have already made a mess. <laughs> The next thing we're gonna do is make the passata. This is very simple. I'm gonna make more than we need. Uh, anyhow, we're gonna cut these tomatoes up. Cut the core out. These are nice. These are very ripe. Could you do pizza sauce? Absolutely. I mean, Rouse is great pizza sauce in my opinion. I, I use that all the time. We're just gonna put these in. Actually, you can just take the lid off on this. And this is obviously gonna be more than two tablespoons. We're gonna go ahead and put about a quarter teaspoon of oregano and a healthy pinch of salt. And then I'm gonna get a paper towel and clean up this mess. And you can tell these are gonna be nice and juicy. And I might drizzle in just a little bit of olive oil, honestly. I think that might add a little bit to it. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Let's see, where's my little top? Ah, here we go. All right. Now, we're ready to do our toast. This is sourdough bread. We're gonna use a sheet pan, and I'm just gonna brush these with some olive oil. You could use an olive oil spray, and that'd be faster and easier, but this works. And normally when I make pizzas, I usually put some olive oil on the pizza dough, so this is very similar to that. It's just a different bread, really. All right, that looks pretty good. We're gonna put this in about five to eight minutes, 350 degree oven. Pizza traces its origins back to the antiquity, probably starting as a focaccia, which was a flatbread with several various toppings enjoyed by the early Romans. Modern pizza is said to have come from Naples, Italy as early as the 1500s. The word pizza first appeared in 997 AD in the city of Gita, Italy. It is generally agreed that pizza toast originated in a coffee shop named Benishika in Tokyo, Japan in 1964, essentially using milk toast instead of a pizza crust. Today we are adding hot honey to what many call Japanese pizza toast. All right, so we've been about eight minutes. I actually put it on broil for just a couple of minutes and then I put my oven back on 350 so I can remember to do that. Now we're just gonna put our sauce on. And this is what fresh sauce looks like. And it's gonna taste much better than just regular old pizza sauce in my opinion. Plenty of sauce. Now we're going to put some onions. Just a 
few. We'll put the mozzarella. And obviously you can put as much mozzarella as you want. I'm all about the onions. I like onions. I like onions and mushrooms. I was thinking about putting mushrooms, but I'm gonna keep this simple. I'm not the biggest pepperoni fan, but I think on this it's gonna be just about right. So put about three or four of these on here. And now we're gonna put this back in the oven for about another five to seven minutes. So five to seven minutes was not enough time and, and you just gotta look at it. So I put the broiler on and I went another three minutes. So all together about 10 minutes with the last three minutes being on the broiler. And you can just put it in there until you're happy with the melt on the cheese. So let's pull it out. Yeah, it's got a little brown to it. I think that's right. All right, very simply now, we're just gonna put on a little Parmesan. That's gonna add a little salt to it and a little flavor, a little bit of... You can put more on the four. The four? If you want to. I had that one pretty much covered, but now I'll do this. Okay. <laughs> Is that enough parsley? Yes. <laughs> All right, there we go. I think that's pretty good. And now we're just gonna drizzle on some hot honey here. And I actually ended up putting a little more honey in because it's a little thinner than I wanted it. And we're just going to drizzle that. Of course, it's going to be sweet and heat. And that is it. We're ready to taste it. Mmm. Oh, crispy. The fresh sauce is fantastic. Mmm, you taste a little bit of the sweetness. Not much of the heat, a little bit of the heat. Mmm, there comes the heat. A little bit of heat now. That's fantastic. If you enjoy this video, I'd appreciate it if you like and subscribe because that helps promote my channel. And I'll see you next time on Lawyer in the Kitchen. <laughs> Is it good? You can, I'm not, I'm oh, filming. <laughs>